The unending crisis in Opunembe has resulted in the loss of lives and property with parts of the town currently deserted for fear of the unknown. There are now calls from several quarters for concerted efforts to tackle the situation, which led to the recent attack on journalists and arrest of some individuals in the area. Joseph Kunde has details. Opunembe, an oil-rich community, is one with an admirable history that dates back to the colonial era. But violent activities in the last week have since breached the peace. The deputy governor, Lawrence Erujapo, while visiting the troubled community, was not too happy with the methodology being deployed by the special teams sent by the acting IGP. He believes they are infringing on the human rights of the people. This is as some women protested the presence of the policemen in the community. Who was the person they were arrested today? Who would you arrest yeah, today? Person. One person, one person that, that came up is this young, young guy. It's sort of, um, how do they call it? A, a, a gun. Construct a gun by itself. Mm. And when we were moving, he was trying to we hide and was trying to and rush over to rush him. Mm. And have the yeah, But was it a gun? I, it, it was not a gun. But he said, you have seen that what is entry holy was harmless. What we have needed to have going is to have just uh, 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 take the team from him and release him. So please, CP. To that, that man is released because there's no business for detaining him. But when we arrived, we saw some exiled chiefs returning home for the first time since February this year and were received into a warm embrace from the natives. They took us on a tour of their buildings that have been allegedly destroyed by some aggrieved youths, but things took a different turn when we were ambushed and attacked. I visited my cameraman, who survived the onslaught with the intervention of the police, days after he was discharged from the hospital. He narrates his ordeal. They double cross me with a gun. You move, I shoot you. you know, so I stopped with also a knife. So I stopped. They hold me, say who I am, and I told them that I'm a journalist. They pull my shirt, pull my trouser used my singlet, took away my canvas, took away my, my, my shirt, like my t-shirt, and used my inner singlet to put my hands on the back and tied me like a criminal. They tied me. Before then, they, were, you know, they beat me severely. Four policemen appear like an angel, honestly. <laughs> 